Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, Salem Police. Suspect robbed convenience store armed with needles. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9. There's a group of putting people at homes together since 1933. We're professionals who know the people and regions we serve. From the North Country to the Lakes region, the Manhattan region, the cities, and the seacoast, New Hampshire's realtors open doors and open hearts. We've been there for those who've made it, and we'll be there for those who are ready. When it's time to buy or sell property, remember to look for the Realtor R. Working for you, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. New Hampshire Realtors. New this morning, police are searching for a man who allegedly robbed the Salem convenience store with a hypodermic needle. The incident happened last month at the shop on Main Street. Employee says a man walked in, displayed the needle filled with red fluid, and demanded money. He made off with about $300 and cigarettes. If you have any information, please contact Salem Police. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Two alarm fire on Cape Cod deemed suspicious. Authorities are investigating a possible arson fire that occurred early. Saturday morning on Cape Cod. Yarmouth Fire Department received a call around 4.20 a.m. from Massachusetts State Police reporting a fire at 606 to 610 Route 28 in West Yarmouth. With assistance from neighboring fire stations, the two-alarm fire was put out within 45 minutes. There were no reported injuries and about half of the building was damaged. Authorities have deemed the fire suspicious due to the building's extended vacancy and lack of utilities. Investigators are speculating that someone was inside the building without permission and could have deliberately or accidentally started the fire. Authorities are encouraging anyone with information to call the arson hotline at 1-800-682-9229 or the Yarmouth Police Department. A reward of up to 5,000 is included. Lewiston residents plan walk vigil to condemn street violence. A group of Lewiston residents is organizing a walk and vigil Sunday aimed at curbing, raising violence and racial tension in the downtown. The group Lewiston United for Peace and Hope Initiative will gather at 6.45 p.m. on Spruce Street side of Kennedy Park with opening statements about the recent death of Donald Gustiai, 38 of Lewiston. Gusty I died last month, several days after he suffered head injuries in a brawl with a group of teens. After the remarks, the group will walk to the corner of Walnut and Horton Streets, where police have investigated reports of gun fire. The walk will end at Rancourt Coin operated laundry mat at 52 Sabah Street to remember Kim Duby, who 
was stabbed to death outside the business on July 15th in front of her 11-year-old twin sons. Melissa Dunn, one of the organizers of Sunday's event, said the walk is a call to action against violence and racism. State and local police are continuing to investigate the June 12th fight that bravely injured Gustiai. A state police spokesman said Thursday that detectives have interviewed more than 100 people and reviewed surveillance photos as part of their investigation. Albert Lick, who spent 20 years for the 1979 murder of his wife, was arrested minutes after Duby was stabbed. He has been charged with murder and is being held at the Andescoggin County Jail in Auburn. Doobie's friends say that Flick was stalking her. Trump says your favorite president did nothing wrong, an apparent response to Cohen. In a tweet describing himself as your favorite president, Donald Trump fired back at claims his former private attorney secretary re secretly recorded a phone call in which they allegedly discussed hush money paid to former Playboy model. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday evening, and I'll see you back here later on this evening for a news report. Good night, everyone. Bye.